guys, welcome to the review, and today I'm going to be talking about Merlin. And for Merlin, uh, I just recently unlocked him. He's kind of hard to get. He is a an exclusive character. Uh, you can only find him, I believe, in the shop only. I believe they may have added him as a one of those, but I mainly got him from the shop because I haven't reached a certain level to unlock him by grinding him out. So I'm going to lock him now. And I haven't heard much about him, but here's his base stats. We got 45 in offense, 18 in defense, 270 in health. Speed's a little low. He is a support character, but we'll see how he goes once we level him up a little bit. Let's level him up to 28 because I don't think I'm going to use him very often. All right, there we go. And here's his base stats so far increased at 136 offense, 54 defense, and 1582 on health. Let's gear him up. All right, so got him to gear three. I'm not gonna go a little higher because I don't know if I'm gonna use him very often and I don't wanna take too much resources away from other characters. So I'm just gonna level him up real quick and let's take a look at his base stats. And we got 186 at offense, 88 in defense, 22, 12 in health. Everything else looks the same. Probably we gotta work on gearing him up a lot more so that he can get additional uh, potencies or tendencies and stuff of that sort. So anyways, let's take a look at his basic attack. His basic attack deals up to 172 damage to a target opponent. At level two, he gets 30% chance to inflict defensive downs, not bad. And level three, as always, 50% damage dealt. So let's move on to the next one. So uh, his special grants tactics to target teammate for one turn reduces cooldown on target teammate by one turn cleanse harmful effects for all teammates that's good cool to have and if target is a mythic teammate grant harmful immunity for one turn so that's pretty cool so if you can combine him with like let's say a hades or uh, one of the other myth mythical characters i think manacore is a mythical character if i'm not mistaken then that would, would help overall the the base of the team especially when it comes to harmful effects there's no healing that i could see so it's really just speed that's going to help overall so the cooldown duration or reduction that you get on level two and three is going to play a big part because you're able to move a little faster at least that's what i understand from tactics so let's go to the next special deals up to 465 damage to a target opponent inflicts stun for one turn increase targets cooldown by one turn as well if they are already affected by stun so as long as if they are affected by stun originally then you would be able to do that so it's kind of like if you harden up with buzz light ear you know you could use this special to do the, the stun aspect then use him so you have to find the right pairing with merlin to really fully utilize his skills and abilities which kind of sucks because i don't think i can think of anyone that really works with him well enough but hey i guess it requires more testing anyways at level two reduces targets speed meter by 30 percent. that's cool so actually i've seen this one this one is he transforms into a ram and he hits someone so i remember this one okay and then his passive he gets a on turn start 15 percent chance to increase your magic by 10 percent so essentially you just get an additional boost kind of weak of a passive because it looks like only at the start of the turn can you get a 15 percent chance to get it. so basically it's either a hit or miss so it's a weak passive to be honest all right well i've seen enough let's take a look at some gameplay all right so i was able to make my team i consisted mainly all these characters as mythical characters because i wanted to see if any additional uh, bonuses happen. So I just wanted to put a squad. I'm doing a hero campaign more, so I can't get like all the villain mythical creatures, but this should give us a good idea of what it is. So let's see. All right, let's try, well, this one's the, the tactics one. So let's try the ram one all right not bad 
Definitely stuns him. That can help out in the, in the tactic game. Alright, let's just see. Alright, so we were able to get all his uh, effects. He definitely got the harmful immunity because he's a mythical character. So that's pretty cool. Let's continue. Okay, that was a harmful immunity. I don't know how I got that, but okay. Oh, that's probably this this one right here. Okay, kind of cool. All right, let's incre let's do this. It's basic. Weak. Right, let's get finish this off real quick. Alright, so pretty much done. I completed the, the task. Uh, I mean, what can I say about Merlin? He seems okay, but I guess requires more testing, leveling up maybe, but honestly, the only thing that's really going for him as a spell is this one. The special is the only one that's going to give some added benefits. Uh, the other one was okay, wasn't great, but I guess I have a a harmful effect on a character it's really not going to take it to the full potential and the immunity is great because that's obviously going to help out in the long run so i don't know he's really worth the time to build up he's definitely worth getting just to have as a character to use for your your conquest in case you need additional characters or even the towers because the towers you obviously need more characters so you can use your weaker characters to grind up to the higher level so i don't know like i said requires more testing anyways that's all I got for today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time. Please hit that like and subscribe button below. It really helps me out in the long run. And uh, if you have any question or anything, always hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. I put the links in the description below, as well as my Discord. You could always join us as well. So, anyways, thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.